Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today we're doing a full face of drugstore makeup, but not just any drugstore makeup. This is the stuff that I feel like feels expensive on the face. There's so much good makeup at the drugstore, as you guys know, but I really wanted to gather all the things that just make me feel luxe and do a full face. So we're just gonna start with the complexion. I'm gonna go in with the Milani Glow Drops. These are so luxurious feeling. Down to the packaging, this is gonna give you a gorgeous glow to the skin. A little goes a long way. I personally like to focus this on the outer portions of the face. It's gonna give you like a very emollient kind of a glow. You can see already how gorgeous that looks. And underneath makeup, I just feel like it adds an expensive touch to the skin. So I'm avoiding like the pores, but I really do love to apply this on the very high points of the cheeks and down the center of the nose. And let's do a little along the jaw as well and on the sides of the forehead. And we'll wait for that to kind of sink in a little bit. When it came to foundation, I feel like there's a lot of really nice foundations at the drugstore. And this one is technically not at like the drugstores here in the US, at least I don't think so. I get mine on Amazon though. So it's the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. I wear mine in the shade um, Rose Ivory. This stuff feels like a luxurious high-end foundation down to the packaging as well, but the formula is spectacular. I love this. If you want something that's available at the drugstore, the L'Oreal Serum Foundation is also a really, really nice pick but I wanted to use this one today. It's been a while and I've just missed it. I feel like it just looks fabulous on the skin. So I'm just gonna blend this out with a brush first. If there's anything I've learned from doing my makeup on YouTube for however many years, it's been, gosh, it'll almost be seven years in June. That's crazy. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that the price of a product does not always mean that it's going to reflect the performance of the product because I have tried everything under the sun. And sometimes, you know, there are certain products where I feel like, you know, if it's a higher priced product or eyeshadow palette, for example, sometimes I feel like you really do pay for a better formula. But in so many situations, I honestly feel like a product is marked up because of the brand. I've tried so many designer brand products and while I feel like the packaging is nice, the product itself, I mean, it's rare that it's like any better than my mid price range or drugstore products. And so I just feel like it's always been fun for me to try to find affordable products that perform like or better than my high end products. And they're out there. These are some of those things in my opinion. I wanted to use the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. This is stunning. It's such a beautiful, very luxe feeling formula. I am gonna use the shade Ivory. It's a very dewy concealer, so I'm gonna just kind of keep it focused on this area here where I have the most darkness. And let's see, I feel like I want the skin to look pretty fresh today, so maybe I'll brighten up the cheeks a little bit with this, like that. And, you know, I will put a little bit between the brows and down the center of the nose and the center of the chin, just for a little bit of like shape and sculpting. And then I'm just gonna press that in with my sponge. I also love the NYX concealer, but I feel like I've used that so many times on my channel. I wanted to show you guys another option that's just as beautiful. Okay, this is a more recent find for me, but I really love the color, like the undertone is great. It's the e.l.f. Halo Glow Contour Wand in the shade Fair Light. I just really love how subtle this is, especially for every day. So I'm gonna go in to the cheekbones. Um, let's see, let's lift the eye area a little bit by going in an upward motion here to kind of shape out the cheeks. Also gonna use this to lightly contour the nose and a little under the lip. I think I'm gonna leave the jawline bare because I'll go ahead and warm that up with a powder bronzer in a bit, but I'm just wanting to take my foundation brush and kind of press this into the face. Okay, after I've got that blended out with a brush, I'm gonna go back over everything with my sponge one more time just to make sure it's super seamless. All right, now we're gonna set the face and this is one of my favorite powders ever. It's one of the best powders out there, period. It's the number seven translucent perfect light loose setting powder. I mean, drugstore and high-end included, this is such a beautiful setting powder. I love that it has a little bit of a pink undertone, at least this color does. And so it's really good for brightening. I'm gonna go ahead and take a powder puff and just press this underneath the eyes and in the T-zone. And it's just gonna give you the most airbrushed 
expensive looking complexion. I don't know if you can see how flawless that made my skin look on camera, but in person it seriously looks airbrushed. It's so beautiful. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side of the face. Then I always like to take a fluffy brush with a little bit of the same powder and just gently pat that on the outside of the face. I don't like the sides of my face to be as matte and airbrushed as the T-zone. So I'm just gonna kind of pat that into the skin. I like to still powder a little bit though, because especially if I'm gonna be using a powder bronzer, which I am today, it just helps with the blending. For bronzer, I'm gonna be dipping into my infallible 24 hour fresh wear bronzer from L'Oreal. This is the shade Fair. It's so beautiful. I feel like this is a bronzer that the shade looks really nice. It also blends out by itself, basically. It's so beautiful. And I like a good matte bronzer, especially for every day. I just feel like I'm able to control the shine a little bit more with highlighter or a glowy blush, for example, or like a primer. And so I like to keep my bronzer matte so that I get like nice structure to the face um, without it interfering with where I want a highlight. I'm just blending that down the neck as well, just so that everything looks sun-kissed. Okay, for blush, I'm obsessed with the Milani Baked Blushes. These are so beautiful. Um, let's see, I've been trying to figure out which color I wanna do. And hmm, I have this Bellini one, which is more of like a peach. Or, oh, I have a brush here, hold on. Or another one of my favorites is um, Dolce Pink. Obviously, Luminoso is a very popular one. <sighs> I feel like this one. I love this one. This one is a little bit more glittery than the others, but I, for some reason, once it's on the face, it just, it looks amazing. So I'm just gonna apply this. I'm gonna smile and kind of pop it on the high points of the face and then buff it back. You can see how it just gives the most healthy, gorgeous, expensive glow to the skin. You really don't even need highlighter when you use this baked blush because it has such a pearlescent finish to it. I'm still gonna use highlight today because I want to. <laughs> this is so pretty though. This is one of the best blushes for brides. I always use this on brides, even if it's just to add like a little pop of sheen to the apples of the cheeks. If I use another blush on the rest of the face, it just adds the most beautiful bridal glow. Speaking of bridal, um, I actually have been thinking of doing maybe more bridal looks or a bridesmaid look, like a wedding guest look. Let me know if you would like to see that and if you want it to be drugstore. One of my favorite videos that I've ever done is the um, drugstore bridal makeup tutorial that I did a couple years ago now. It's like a tried and true tutorial. I go into depth like crazy. So if you are getting married and you need some inspo, I'll have that video down below. But I feel like, you know, there's different types of brides, different types of makeup styles as well. So if you wanna see more bridal looks, more drugstore bridal looks, let me know. I'd be happy to film them. All right, we're gonna kind of go a little bit out of order than what I typically do. I'm gonna take my Milani Clear Brow Gel, which is like my favorite brow gel from the drugstore. I'm just gonna do a tiny bit of this in the brows and use my finger to press the brows down. I also kind of want to use a spoolie to really brush through this because I didn't want it to be too saturated with um, brow gel before going in with my next product, but I did want it to have a little bit of something so that I knew where my brows were sitting before going in with this next thing. Um, I always use a brow pencil, but a really expensive feeling product is this right here. This is the NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Tint Pen. I have mine in the shade Ash Brown. It's one of the best brow products out there. Um, I actually prefer this over some of my high-end brow pens. So I'm just gonna go in and fill in the gaps with this. Brow pens take a little bit more time in general, but you are left with a really nice, luxurious look, in my opinion. So just kind of painting on the brow hairs. The nice thing about this formula too is even though it can look a little bit heavy up front, you just let it dry for a little bit and then brush it through and it just is so forgiving. I love this stuff. So when it comes to eyeshadow, I was really thinking through what kind of eyeshadow palettes felt luxurious. And in my opinion, ColourPop never fails. This is my all time favorite ColourPop palette. It's the That's Taupe palette. I've used it so many times on my channel, but I'm gonna use it again. I was trying to find like another one that I liked as much as this one, but this is still my number one. So I'm gonna take the shade Boa, which is like a really nice cool toned brown. For some reason, cool tones in general, I mean, I guess it depends on your undertone. 
Um, but for some reason, I feel like cool tone shadow on me feels a little more expensive. I don't know why. Maybe it's just more of a timeless undertone versus like super orangey, super warm shadows on myself anyway can usually pull a little bit more trendy versus timeless. So if you're wanting to go with a more expensive look, try looking for a more neutral or cool toned shadow. And I just feel like you just can't go wrong, you know? This palette has a good mix of neutrals and cool. Um, by the way, I'm taking that shade and kind of going along the lower lash line a bit as well. But there's just something about this that feels so luxurious. I'm gonna go in with, um, let's see, Rock Steady, which is this really gorgeous, cool tone. It's a little bit of a deeper color. And I'm gonna use this to deepen up the edge of the eye. I'm also gonna take that on the lower lash line slightly, just a little bit. I think where ColourPop really shines is their Super Shock Shadows. There's a Super Shock Shadow in this palette called Slated, and it's like my favorite ever. I love this. It just, I mean, Nothing says expensive, like a little pop of shimmer on the eyes. And this looks so crazy luxurious. It's actually insane. I don't even have to tell you, just look at it. It's beautiful. So I'm just popping that on the eyelid. And I'm gonna let this be like the main focal point of my entire eye look. It's gorgeous. And I love that it's not like a full on glitter. It's more of a shimmer, but well, it's kind of in between because it's more than just like a metallic eyeshadow or like a, yeah, metallic. <laughs> it's got chunks of glitter, but it's not like chunky glitter, if that makes sense. I don't know if that makes sense, but hopefully it does to somebody. I love this mascara formula from Maybelline. It's the Lash Sensational. It's been my number one from the drugstore for years. Well, one of my number ones. <laughs> I have a few that I love, but this one just really, I don't know what it is. I think it's just the way it makes my lashes look after it's on. I also really love to be a little more heavy handed toward the edge of the eye with this, just for more of like a lifted, elongated eye look. I'm also gonna pop some on the lower lashes. Do you know what I was looking for? I need a new drugstore nude pencil for the waterline. I used to use the Wet n Wild one all the time, like the one that was for the eyebrows, but I don't think they make it anymore and I don't have a new one. So if you have a good recommendation for a brightening under eye pencil that's good from the drugstore, let me know in the comments. All right, for lips, I'm gonna take off any foundation and leftover lip balm we have. For lip liner for me, it was a no brainer. You just can't go wrong with the NYX um, slim lip pencils. I'm gonna use the shade Nude Truffle. This is a little bit more of like a deeper brown, but one of my favorite things to do is to line the lips with a brown and then do more of a pink lip color in the center. I feel like that alone looks really expensive, just having that kind of a contrast, but I love this formula. Another one of my favorite colors is Nude Beige. That's like my number one, but I wanted something a little deeper today. And then the next thing is like a very new product for me, but it's one that I've been using like crazy. It's the new L'Oreal Color Riche Matte Lipsticks. I did an entire swatch video of these, so if you'd like to see that, I'll have it down below. I'm wanting to use maybe this one. This is called 103 La Rosy Confident and something more pink, but I think that's pretty with this look. And then you'll be able to kind of see what I mean by having that contrast of like a brown lip liner. So I just put a little bit of that on and then I'm just pressing it in with my fingers. I think that color actually looks really nice with the blush. My favorite color is number 113, but I'm gonna try to like branch out a little bit and wear some of the other shades because I'm obsessed with this formula. It truly is such a luxe feeling formula and the packaging's gorgeous. You like don't sleep on these at the drugstore. They're some of the best like matte lipsticks I've ever tried. And I've tried like a million. <laughs> okay, we're gonna assess the situation a little bit. Just taking what's left on the blush brush I'm going in there. Um, I do want to take, you know what? Hold on, I need to find my matte powder, I realized. Okay, I feel like everything looks the way I want it. I do have like a cream highlight that I'm gonna pop on at the end. Even though I feel like I don't really need highlight, we're gonna do it anyway, just for that extra boost of luxe. I'm gonna take my Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This feels luxurious. It looks amazing on the skin. Just gonna do a little bit of that on the face. And then once that's halfway dry, I like to take my sponge and just press everything down into the skin. I hope you can see how fabulous this looks on camera. Cause like it looks amazing in person, which 
I guess is more important than looking great on camera. Hopefully you can see how nice this all looks. Hopefully you can see the proof, you know, that it looks really expensive. I'm gonna take my favorite matte powder from Rimmel. This is probably one of my number one most used products ever in my life. You guys know if you've watched my channel for a while or since the beginning, honestly, it's my favorite. I like to just take that and kind of tone down the T-zone after I do setting spray. I just feel like it really helps. For a little extra boost of luxuriousness, I'm gonna take the Flower Beauty Day Glow Highlighting Glaze. Flower Beauty is like revamping their brand entirely. I really hope that they still have this. Hopefully they do. And I hope they don't discontinue it, but I'm just gonna take my sponge and dip it into this. It's the most beautiful cream highlighter. I'm just gonna bounce a little bit on the very, very high points of the face. That Milani Baked Blush is really giving a ton of glow, but I want a little more. So I'm gonna put a little down the center of the nose and then like that. I was just gonna leave my lips matte, but I feel like a gloss is more expensive. So hold on. More expensive looking, I should say. So I'm gonna take the NYX Fat Lip Drip Oil. This is the clear color. Ooh. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand and then pick it up with my fingertip. That way I don't mess up the clear color in the bottle. And then here's a little expensive effect tip. Just patting it like over the cupid's bow. See how that adds a bit of gloss, but it also like makes your lips look more full, but it also allows you to control the amount of shine you get. So it's not a gloopy looking lip. It's one of my favorite little tricks to do. So now it's like a fresh gloss. I think it looks expensive. Okay, just for one little detail, I feel like the little things really make a difference when you're trying to elevate any makeup look, no matter what products you're using at whatever price point. It's all about the little details. So I'm just taking the Flower Beauty Day Glow and using that as an inner corner highlight. All right, what do you guys think? I mean, I feel so luxe. I genuinely love how this makeup looks. You wouldn't know if this full face cost me $100 or $1,000, okay? That's how fabulous it looks on the skin. All these products make me feel beautiful, which also is a huge part of a luxurious feeling makeup look. Like whatever makes you feel luxurious. It doesn't have to be expensive to make you feel good. And that's what all these products do for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite drugstore products are for when you want like an expensive looking and feeling makeup look. I wanna know in the comments, do you have similar faves to me? These are just a few of my drugstore favorites, but honestly, they're all so wonderful, so reliable and so affordable, which who doesn't love that? So I hope you guys enjoyed the look. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you go and hit the notification bell so that you're notified every single time I post. And yeah, that's it for me today. I hope you all have an amazing day wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Love you. Bye.